April 12th, Wolverines opening up a three-game series against Penn State at the Wilpon Complex. And Trent Skutnik on the hill. After the sophomore strikes out two in the first inning, he strikes out the side in the second. Skutnik does the same thing in the third inning, and he had tied a career high with eight strikeouts in just three innings. Did you feel like you had swing and miss stuff uh, to start out today? Talk about your day out there. Yes, today absolutely felt good. Um, I was throwing three pitches for strikes, which is always huge for anybody. Uh, it gives you a chance to come out there and win. Um, really had good control of my slider, uh, working downhill with it, able to locate that, uh, as well as my fastball was working in and out. So I, was, I had found success out of that. Top of the fourth, Skutnik gets his career best ninth strikeout to start the inning. Penn State then puts a rare bat on the ball here, but Patrick Biondi runs it down in shallow right center. Trent would go on to strike out 12 Nittany Lions on the evening, the highest total for a Michigan pitcher since 2009. You know exactly what we needed him to set the tone on Friday night like that, and he just pounded the strike zone. That was great tempo, and he had all of his stuff working and uh, got a lot of swing and misses. And, and really just uh, you know enabled us to, even though we weren't scoring any runs, but just kept the game right where it needed to be. However, the Wolverines couldn't give him any support. Biondi bunts here in the sixth, beats it out, and puts two on for Michigan. But Michael O'Neill flies out later in the inning to strand a runner at third, and we were scoreless through six. Top of the seventh, Luis Montesinos with the double over Kevin White's head in left field. That puts a runner in scoring position with two outs. Aaron Novak then singles to drive in Montesinos. Penn State finally breaks through. Skutnik would leave in line for a tough luck loss. But the luck wasn't all bad for the Maize and Blue. Alex Farkas hits one in the gap off reliever Matt Ogden. Novak, who was sure to score on the play, trips over third base and falls down. His coach actually pushes him towards home plate, but he was out by a mile and the Wolverines would dodge a bullet. Bottom of the eighth, Eric Jacobson at the plate for the Maize and Blue. He hits one in the hole, but Montesinos makes a nice play and guns him out at first. But the Nittany Lions unravel after that. Penn State relievers walk the bases loaded with two out in the eighth for Michael O'Neill, who chops one down to short and then just beats it out at first. The throw gets by J.J. White. Two Wolverines score, and they'd have their first lead of the evening. You know, I swung at two breaking balls that, that weren't even close to being strikes, and I laid off on, on the third pitch, and then I got a ball up and uh, Coach Schnabel always says touch it with two and I touched it barely. <laughs> Zach Zott the next hitter up and he provides some insurance with a rope to right field. It scores Jacob Cronenworth three to one Michigan. White is up next for the maize and blue and he gets this flare to fall in in shallow right field. It plates O'Neill and Zott a five run inning for the Wolverines. That's Michigan baseball right there. We get we get punched in the face and then we come back and we score five with two outs. So that's just that's the new era of Michigan baseball. And that's even coming out of that game, I knew we were gonna win. You know, so what? It's our mentality is gonna win anyway. Cronenworth comes on and makes quick work of Penn State in the ninth, and the Wolverines win five to one. Michigan's seven game win streak is the program's longest since two thousand and eight. They'll go for eight in a row on Saturday when they host the Nittany Lions at 4.05 p.m. at the Wilpon Complex. For MGoBlue.com, I'm Anthony Palladano.